He knows too much. Richard Condon was a publicist for Walt Disney, who was a paid informant and eventually special agent for the FBI for 26 years. Walt was a close associate of J. Edgar Hoover. They were both 33rd degree Freemasons. I don't know if Condon was a Freemason, but he obviously garnered a glimpse into the secret society networks of the oligarchy, as evidenced in his greatest work. We know Disney submitted scripts to Hoover, who was a master of propaganda. Hoover carefully created his own myth as the greatest law enforcement fighter in America, even to the point of destroying careers that threatened to eclipse his. Just ask Melvin Purvis. Disney allowed Hoover to make any changes necessary to keep a pro-capitalism subtext on point. Condon must have found out about MKUltra because he wrote a shattering novel on mind control long before most Americans had even heard about the effects of drugs on hypnosis. It started with the alleged brainwashing of American prisoners of war in Korea, many of whom were filmed making anti-U.S. statements while in captivity. The actual technology shown in Condon's book and movie were first pioneered in Germany, not Korea or China. That research was imported into the USA at Fort Detrick by Sidney Gottlieb, who subsidized the research of Dr. Jolly West, a professor at Cornell using a CAA cutout company called the Human Ecology Fund. One wonders if West knew the reason many pilots confessed to being war criminals is because some were involved in secretly spraying chemical agents on North Koreans. West did a massive study on the subject for the Pentagon that failed to mention this element of the story while attempting to get the men off the hook by claiming their confessions were a result of what became known later as Stockholm Syndrome. West worked extensively with drugs and hypnosis, and most of his subjects had no idea they were actually mind-controlled guinea pigs. He implanted fake memories and erased real memories, and the creation and management of cults became his specialty. West became linked with Jack Ruby, Charlie Manson, Sirhan Sirhan, Patty Hearst, Timothy McVeigh, and many others. In all likelihood, Lee Harvey Oswald was an early MKUltra subject. His hypnosis obviously wasn't strong enough to get him to kill a man he respected, which may be why Oswald wasn't a shooter, but if you look close into Oswald's history, you'll find mind-controlled doctors likely got a hold of him in New York City before he was a teen, and later, when he moved back to New Orleans, he was probably rehypnotized by David Ferry while serving as a cadet in the Civil Air Patrol. There's an important element in Condon's book. The title character has no father, just like Oswald. The father is the most important element in a young man's psyche, and if you capture that archetype, you can construct a robot zombie. The book was a sensation in Washington, D.C., but no one expected anyone to make it into a film. It only happened because Sinatra loved the book and may have even been introduced to it by JFK while they were still buddies before the president broke off contact. The first thing Sinatra did when the film deal fell into place was call JFK. And the first thing JFK wanted to know was, who's going to play the mother? In the book, the mother mainlines heroin in between meetings with the Pope and sexual encounters with her robot son. The mother is also a prominent member of the Order of the Eastern Star, a secret society created for the wives and daughters of high-ranking Freemasons, although that detail was left out of the film. The headquarters of that order, by the way, is a temple located on DuPont Circle in Washington, which leads me to suspect the DuPonts may have an interest in Freemasonry. After too many people got wind of MKUltra, an investigation followed in Congress, one carefully controlled by Rockefeller, whose family may have had the most to lose if this shit ever hit the fan. Richard Helms burned the files in his fireplace and never paid any price for committing that crime. What little we know comes mostly from financial records Helms missed. One thing you can be sure of, these technologies have been offloaded to private corporations and taken out of the country. I would surmise many notorious terror cells operating today are under some form of intel brainwashing. The film was made in 1962 but was pulled almost immediately as it carried too many connections to the JFK assassination. 
In the book, the assassin is supposed to kill the president so the vice president can assume power. The book may be more complicated than most believe. Although it paints Marco as the hero, in fact, you can also read Marco as another Manchurian candidate whose real mission is babysitting the assassin and making sure the job takes place, which involves changing the target to kill the mother as she had slipped off her communist leash. Early on, Marco happens to run into a beautiful woman on a train who speaks in code, forms a sudden attraction to him, and has a close friend in military intelligence who sets up a huge operation to assist Marco overnight. This woman may be Marco's CIA handler and not some accidental acquaintance. Maybe Condon knew communism was a scam from day one and the Cold War a psyop. He certainly left a few clues. Going all the way, pretty baby, before my time is 